All right, here's the uh, here's the the deal. I need some help. Um, I recently just bought a Buffalo Air Station, um, specifically the uh, WZRHPG 300NH wireless router, and I've been trying to uh, <coughs> excuse me. I've been trying to. <laughs> to do this pirate box thing, um, if anybody has heard about it, um, see, or seen the tutorial online, uh, I've been trying to use the open WRT firmware, and every time I try to install um, 10.03.1 uh, 10 backfire RC4 onto the router uh, via SSH, um, it decides it's not going to work on me. Um, as you can see, the lights that are there now, that's from the professional firmware that um, comes from the Buffalo website. Um, when I install the firmware and open WRT, the power button, and the uh, router light, or the, the power light and the router light um, are there, only and there's nothing else. I um I will well a little blue light is, but that's beside the point. Um <laughs> the that Wi-Fi light that's blinking right now um does not blink at all. I have uh, after putting the open WRT firmware on, I don't have any access to it at all. I cannot access uh, the router's page um this page by going to 192.168.11.1 like you're supposed to. Um, I cannot um, I cannot use Telnet, I cannot use SSH, I can't do anything. Um, have, uh, uh, after the firmware is installed and it's reset and everything um, and everything's installed as far as firmware goes, um, it actually, the, the router actually bricks and so I've probably bricked it maybe seven times trying to do this and I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I followed the instructions on this website uh, for uh, pre-installation uh, word for word, literally. Um, tells you uh, before you, uh, installing OpenWRT uh, on the Buffalo router that you should Ensure the local IP address of the gateway or the normal uh, router, whatever it is that you n would normally use to access the internet, is not the same as the one that the Buffalo uses. Um, and it, mine isn't. And mine is um, a, a 10 net or a 10.0.0.1 is what that one is. Um, so there's there's no conflicting issue here. And then um, you know there's information on. Uh, how to activate the SSH and, and stuff for the router um, and I've done that uh, and then I'll go in and I'll um, access that via SSH using um, that and then um, I'll get down here well I, I go to change directory to uh, TMP and then I do the download and it downloads okay um, but when I go to install it it um, using mtd hyphen r write open wrt hyphen uh, asterisk dot bin uh, to linux it, uh, it, it, uh, it does the install but after install it bricks um, so if there's something I'm not doing right as far as administration system for the Buffalo uh, firmware um, for allowing SSH and, and stuff, if, uh, if somebody can assist me and let me know what it is that I'm doing wrong or um, can come up with a way to help me get the uh, OpenWRT installed onto my router, um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, the, it's not a version 2, it is a version 1. I bought this on eBay and, and because it's refurbished it actually came with another sticker. But I ended up taking that off um, <laughs> because it had hyphen R on it and I was trying to make sure that it was a version 1 and not a version 2. 
Um, so I've, you know, I've got the original firmwares in the event that it breaks again, but uh, I'm, I'm having some issues. So if somebody can help me out, message me, uh, PM me, um, something, um, it would do a video response. I don't care. Uh, let me know what's going on or what it is that I can do to, to get this to work because I would like um, to do this this pirate box thing for a a, uh, uh, a file sharing system uh, for mobily. So um, like if I go someplace and I'm with a friend or something and I need to share files back and forth, I can do this, or um, you know I could just share files uh, with the general public given that they are legal files um, <laughs> um, but if anybody has any answers um, as to my situation it would be much appreciated